One of the most um, underrated, overlooked um, fights on this uh, Saudi card, the Day of Reckoning, is the Arsalan Bok, Arsalan Bek, uh, Makamadov versus Ajit Kabayel fight. I'm sure I butchered that name, but anyway. Um, I think it's one of the most over uh, underrated, um, overlooked fights on the card because of the fact that... Um, Obviously, you got AJ and Wilder fighting. You got Joseph Parker fighting, um, and they they these are fighters that just have a bigger name value um, than than either Ajit Kabayel or um, Makhmadov. But the sad reality is, in terms of um, compelling style matchups, I think the Makhmadov versus Kabayel fight is quite interesting. On the one hand, you have got uh, Makhmadov, who's um, a monstrous puncher, big big guy. He's uh, six foot five, and um, obviously in eighteen fights he's got seventeen KOs. So this guy's a, a monstrous puncher, a fighter that not that many people want to fight. And on the other hand, you've got Ajay Kabayel, who's a bit of a mover. He's a fighter who's um, who's going to give you distance. Who um, we saw the way he beat Derek Chisora with a lot of movement and uh, boxing skills. So you got this clash of styles. You got the puncher against the slick mover, and I think um, a fight like that is always compelling because. You got two, two. It's not the most exciting fight. Um, it's not like two, two punches going at it where you're guaranteed fireworks. But it, it's almost like a war of attrition, and it's a good, good fight to see. Um, where both fighters' skill set is at. Now, both of them are undefeated, so they've not even tasted defeat. Um, and obviously, um, Makhmadov has got a bit bit of a bigger profile than Ajit Kabayel because Ajit Kabayel since the Derek Chisora fight hasn't really had another landmark win or had another good fight which has really put him over while Makhmadov has been like running through everyone apart from one opponent who managed to go the distance so in terms of intrigue Makhmadov is seen as the more intriguing heavyweight because he's knocking everyone out but Ajit Kabayel has got the ability to actually win this fight if he gives enough distance if he knows what he's doing in there he could give Makhmadov's problems I believe now this is a fight um, Makhmadov's people um, in terms of a stylistic perspective this is a very big stage that Makhmadov's going to be fighting on obviously on the undercard of a fight between the likes of Wilder and AJ, and it's a massive card in in Saudi Arabia. Um, I feel like uh, the management may have done something wrong in terms of putting him in there with Ajay Kabayel. And the reason I say that is because Ajay Kabayel is a bit of a spoiler. He he's an opponent that's very difficult to look good against when he's moving. Um, opponents can't set their feet and they they don't look as devastating. So this could be a fight that could backfire in the sense that. Uh, Makhmadov might look a bit slow and clumsy in there, going in there against the likes of Ajay Kabayel, which is which is an opponent that everyone struggles to look good against, right? But on the other hand, um, it it could it could show like the faith that um, um, Makhmadov's management has in terms of him winning the fight. They think he can do it, and um, the fact that they're putting him in there in a stylistic matchup where. It doesn't favor him. Like let, let's be real, they could have put him in there against an opponent where he just completely knocks him out and decimates him, and he looks spectacular doing it. And it's a way for him to um, break onto the world scene where he could show people like, "This is who I am. I'm a puncher. I'm ferocious." But the fact that they put him in there with the likes of an Ajit Kabayel, who's um, who, like I mentioned before, a spoiler, an opponent that looks is hard to look difficult against. Diff, it's hard to look good against. Um, I think um, it shows like the faith that his management has in him in um, getting the job done. But one thing I will say, maybe this is by design. Maybe they decide to put him in there against Caballero so that even though he wins the fight, he doesn't look that spectacular so that the other um, heavyweight fighters within his division, the other fighters that are above him in the rankings will probably look at him and say, you know what, I, I could beat this guy. Because if he doesn't look spectacular against Ajay Kabayel, it might make other pe- other other opponents of his him look at him and say, yeah, th- this guy is beatable, I could go in there. And he's more likely to get an opportunity to fight for the title if, if he has that. So maybe it's been completely orchestrated by his management. Maybe they know something that we don't know. But I was just saying, um, from the perspective of the fight itself, um, I think this could be an um, an opponent opponent that Makhmadev just does not look good against because um Ajay Kabayel, like I just mentioned for the third time now is a spoiler so um it's a compelling fight it could be a fight that um isn't as it could turn boring because Ajay Kabayel just decides to for the lack of a better term just start running but 
I think this could be an interesting fight as well. It'd be interesting to see how Makhmadev deals with a mover, somebody who's not going to come at him, someone who's going to give him distance movement, who's going to give him different looks, and he's going to be giving him lateral movement and such. Um, but if Ajay Kabayel could get a win over Makhmadov, then that literally puts him over because he's beaten a guy that nobody wants to fight at this point in time. Like Makhmadov is known as this monstrous puncher and he's a big guy and um, everyone's probably like, who wants to fight that guy? If Ajay Kabayel can get a win against him on this big stage, on arguably the biggest heavyweight card ever, like in the past five years, I'd say, um, that that would be a good way for Ajay Kabayel to get over. So for both of them, it, it is, they've got a lot to gain from winning and a lot to lose as well from losing. So I think this is a compelling fight. I don't think it's the best fight on the card, but I think it's, it's a tad bit underrated because of the fact that they've got more high-profile fights on the card above. But that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion. What do you think about what I'm saying? Do you think this is a compelling fight? Do you think um um uh, who who do you think is going to win? I f- I think uh, Mahmoudov's going to do it. I think he's just going to have more a uh, fire for the day, and I think he, it's going to probably go to points. But I think Mahmoudov's going to win. I think Ajay Kabayel's just going to be moving a lot. He's not. He's going to set his feet. But the problem is with him constantly moving, Mahmoudov's going to take the center of the ring, and he's going to look like the aggressor. And he's going to be the one that actually gets the decision at the end. Tell me what you think below. I think it's going to be a twelve round um, split decision for Mahmoudov. Um, I just think um, Aja Kabiel's just not going to want to engage with this guy because of his reputation and his monstrous punching power. Tell me what you think below, and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace.